beautiful morning out and uh what do you know fell out of my pocket i left it in here so got that now we can go get parts even though I'm pretty sure they build it to me anyways still want my license and id and all that so good to have that again on the plus side this ground that i worked uh it'll definitely plant it's about perfect so hopefully we get the planter back going today it's a funny looking chicken out there though Yesterday wasn't super, super productive. Uh, the planter, the center post in it uh, has wear pads in it and they're way out of whack. So I just ordered new ones before I wrecked something on the planter um, and they're coming today to put those in. So I didn't plant anything yesterday. I've got like 180 acres left to plant, which I can pretty well do in a day. Um, so well, I'd say two days because some of it's beans and I got to switch the planter over. So we'll we'll say two days, but we have like the next 10 days, no rain, clear forecast. So we're looking good. So I did that, uh, changed out some nozzles and stuff on the sprayer, got that all ready to roll. Ran about 100 acres of fungicide on wheat last night or ran, I guess, 60 acres worth of fungicide on wheat, one tank. And uh, this morning we're headed to Blush Brothers and uh, Odin, or Holland, I mean, and uh, headed to go get those parts for the planter. And then they're coming out first thing. And I believe they're gonna start tearing into that and swapping that out. Since it's in the center post, it's not really something that I've ever done before it's something I want to see them do so I know how to do it but um, I'm not not super comfortable doing that um, just because that's a lot of weight and I, I don't know we'll see how hard of a job it is they said four or five hour job so not a small undertaking at all but it is what it is I'd rather have that done than uh, completely annihilate a planter. So just being on the safe side and having them come do it. So anyhow. Five higher at 793 and a half. September's up nine and a half at 761 and a half. Markets are up. And, feeder cattle. and the wheat's looking good. Wheat's up like 19 cents today. So that's good. At least this stuff looks really good. So we're out here putting fungicide on it today. And uh, got one more tank to run out which is this tank and we'll be done that'll be the last pass on the wheat so it'll be the fourth and final pass uh so two passes of nitrogen one pass of uh fungicide and one pass of herbicide so that'll be perfect a little muddy right here but we're getting it done and then it's dry as a bone here because this is reclaimed ground and that's just how this ground is but going good getting her sprayed oh yeah i think this is pretty good looking wheat i'm uh really looking forward to cutting this stuff i'm not gonna lie i just hope the double crops make something because this ground really 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 dries out <laughs> and i'll be lucky if i even have enough moisture to get double crops to come up out of the ground let alone <laughs> do well so we'll see I'm just gonna plant them really really thick and hope i get a decent stand i guess but i don't know it's really dry and then you got little mud holes like that and that and we're on top of a hill right now and there's still mud holes that's just how tight this ground is so reclaim coal ground this has all been coal mine so really good looking spots and really bad looking spots there's spots where there's nothing and there's spots for the wheats really really good looking so if it averages like 60 i'll be tickled to death so we'll see and just like that that is the last pass spraying wheat this year at least i hope so unless we get like some kind of disaster out here between now and a month from now but hopefully we don't so gonna get out and take a picture for Instagram and uh, 
yeah, after that, I guess we'll be out of here. Got to back up, get a picture where the wheat looks really, really good. That way, you know, people think my wheat looks really, really good. I'd say it looks good enough right here. Let's get a picture. I'm taking my seatbelt off. I've actually been wearing this thing, believe it or not. After the thing tried to eject me out of the cab, I, uh, been wearing it. 2,200 acres sprayed for the year. Sprayer's been getting with it. Well, other than a couple thin spots here and there, I think all this might actually amount to something. So I do have a lot of drainage work to do over here. Uh, there's like 20 acres that I'd really, really like to tile, but I don't know if the grade's there to tile it, to be honest. And I don't know how deep you could go because you go three foot down and you might hit rock on this ground. So I don't know. Um, I know there's giant rocks underground, but I don't know how solid that rock is. I don't know if it's solid rock. I don't think it's solid rock. This has been mined, but you might snap a tile plow in half. I, I, I don't know. I'd like to tile that though, but there's like 20 or 30 acres over there that really, really, really needs something because it's just full of puddles that hold water and well, that just doesn't work. So I don't know, need to do something with it. Headed home, gonna start throwing some post-emerge corn herbicide in for the first corn that I planted and go ahead and spray some of that. Uh, it was sprayed with burn down, but that's been over a month and a half ago and that's starting to wear off and the corn spiked through and up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that sprayed. So I don't know, we'll see. Blesh Brothers is working on the planter right now. So that's why I'm not planting. I plan to be later this afternoon when they get done. So I don't know, uh, might get planted. Might do some planting today and I might not. Might just spray today, I don't know, depends on when they get done, but either way, I'm gonna stay busy. Well, the planter's fixed and folding again, and Tweedledee and Tweedledum are here with the skid steer and starter and seed and all that fun stuff, so I'm gonna start planting around around this field while they get it unloaded, and uh, as soon as they get it unloaded, we'll fill up and take off planting. In the time it took them to get everything unloaded, I've already got an AB line set been around the field twice and got four acres planted so big time in it out here on the state ground this is probably the biggest field I'll plant all day and it's like 12 acres maybe if I'm lucky I don't even know if it's that many but we're making dust so it's planting good planting real good pretty well out of liquid and uh, gonna fill up up here and throw some seed in and plant my heart out until I get done today I guess so life's good well they brought me seed and some treats graphite mainly and uh, the fireman is now starting fires so it's okay this is legal this is a wet spot in the field so figured we'd just dry it out allegedly Time for a little foo foo juice and we'll be back to plant. See, this is the difference between my wife and my buddies is that's what my buddies bring for dinner. Although I am pretty hungry and if they brought food, I wouldn't be upset, but I know that ain't gonna happen. But back to planting. Row 13 is blocked. Is it though? Is it really? pretty sure I'm gonna have to turn around and replant that because I don't think the planter is totally down we'll back up and get it and we're gonna stop oh now row 13 is good okay cool I love when equipment fixes itself but we still got to turn around and plant that spot because you know it may not amount to anything being that it was maybe 10 foot that I drove but what it does amount to is my OCD will drive me nuts 
when I'm running the combine and the sprayer and I see that and it's not planted. So when we turn around, we'll move over and drop the planter and hit that little spot real quick. All right, well now row 13 is just starting to piss me off. So shut up. Just shut the monitor off. I got out. It was flowing. There was nothing wrong with it. At least it didn't look like it, but all the rows had liquid coming out of them, so I'm not listening to it beep. I'm going to shut the damn thing off. Too close to being done to worry about crap like that at this point. Well, there's another one done. Odd shaped field, but it's planted. It's satisfying to see those rows. They look crooked, but I promise they're not. It's just the way this hillside is, it, it does that wavy but hold up and go to the next one i suppose we've got uh, lots and lots of patches and i get to fold up to go into all of them that one's planted that one's planted now we got to go do those two got those two planted got those two planted so lots of folding lots of moving uh that one's i think four acres and that one's about eight. So, yeah. I guarantee I've planted more fields than most people have today, but I definitely haven't got them beat in acreage. But that's all right. We're still getting something done. Quit beeping. It's telling me that all the rows are blocked. I'm aware because I have my liquid system shut off right now. So, yes. All of the rows would, in fact, not be flowing. That's an annoying monitor. Doing a little bit of a side-by-side -side in this field. This has been VT'd. It hadn't been touched. Uh, just kind of the way it worked out. It started raining that day I was working this, but... I don't know. I've done a little more no-till every year. And I haven't had a reason to stop yet, but... Man, the work ground just plants so much better. Just so much better. Um, but the no-till's been hanging in there, so I don't know. As long as it's uh, a practice that is done by somebody that's got more patience than me, sure it works great. But I believe that tillage still has its place. But I also believe that no-till has its place. So I do a little bit of both. But... Uh, this that I'm no-tilling right now is planting about perfect. I mean, that's crumbly dirt. I can see it from here. And the closing wheels I'm running, that makes a huge difference too. Uh, the closing wheels are Yetter twists on the back, or actually they're copper heads on the back. They're Yetter twists on the front rows, but I would like to put Yetter twists on all of them, but there's not really enough of a difference between the two that I feel like I need to change them. But I like the copper heads. I like the Yetter Twists. I just think the Yetter Twists kind of flip that sidewall in a little bit. I don't know, not necessarily the sidewall, but they just flip that top little layer of dirt in a little bit, which I feel like in turn starts to shatter that sidewall compaction a little more than what the copperheads do. But regardless, they're both light years ahead of just standard rubber closing wheels. But I don't know, there's not a ton of difference between them, but I like them both. But having that a uh, little bit more of an aggressive closing wheel I feel like definitely is a necessity in no-till unless it's completely bone dry um, but I really like them so plan away well I got to give credit where credit's due earlier I said that my buddies you know they'd never bring me dinner but they'd bring me bush light well they brought me Taco Bell so credit where <laughs> credit's due I guess they say more corn grows in a crooked row, so this field ought to be phenomenal because the entire field is in a curve. So instead of planting with my markers, I just didn't set an AB line, I, I set a curve. So we're getting fancy. Uh, instead of a straight AB line, I set an adaptive curve. So that's what we're doing. Auto steer is still auto steering and as far as I know, life's good. So, it's one of the first times I've ever 
I think this is the first time I've ever set a curve AB instead of just a straight AB. At least with that monitor, but learn something new every day. Well, morning, or afternoon now. It's been a morning. Uh, thought the planter, the liquid system was gumming up with something I put in it that I shouldn't have. That took the majority of the morning. But we're back to planting now. Should finish up corn in the next couple hours. And then there's 30, 40 acres of soybeans to plant. I'll be done. So, no tilling more corn. It's looking good back there. Fields planting really, really well. So, um, I don't know. I've planted probably 20 acres in six hours this morning. So, haven't really been recording. It's been a morning, but back and rolling now. So, should finish up here very, very shortly with corn, which will be very, very nice. Um, the corn that I planted first, uh, it's up and it looks great. So really excited to see what's to come on that. And uh, I just love watching corn grow all summer. Soybeans are all right too, but corn, that's where it's really fun. I don't know if any of you guys have noticed the uh, half-ass acre special um, remote holder that I've used all spring to plant, but these Milwaukee uh, wire cutters, wire pliers, whatever you want to call them, uh, they work great because, well, when you got this much wiring har harnesses and I can't talk today, when you've got this much wiring going on, um, you're bound and determined to have to splice things and fix wiring like, I don't know, 16 times a day, it seems like. So what they double as is I got to have constant flow because this uh, planter is hydraulic drive. So that remote always has to be forward. So uh, what we do is, is that. You gotta wiggle it a little bit, get it in there good. It's, you know, typical. And now that it's in there, our remote's held forward and we're ready to plant. Now this field doesn't have a straight edge anywhere. So we're just gonna wing it with the markers and hope for the best. Four fields left and they're all less than five acres. Let's get done with corn. If you've ever spent longer driving down some goat path than it takes to actually plant the field you were going to, then you might farm some stake ground. About four acres back there, and it's probably a good mile and a half back in here. Good times. Not, not really even worth coming back here, but whatever. It's planted. So I've got that and see, I've got one more field out here on the state. And then I've got about a, I don't even know how big you'd call it. Might be three acres, little triangle to plant and we'll be done with corn. So, on to the next one. Guess what? We're done with corn. Completely done with corn. At least the first time. So, here's to hoping that there's not a second time. I'm gonna get folded up and head to the farm and park this thing, go to the cookout tonight, eat some burgers, probably drink a beer, and, uh, enjoy life a little bit tonight beautiful night for it feels perfect out so in the morning we'll switch this thing back over to beans and probably plant the last 40 acres of beans tomorrow and be completely done so that'll feel nice that'll feel real nice <laughs>